But it's three o'clock. Okay, so I'm just gonna we're gonna sleep another two days just to yeah, because I think the um, black tobino mare her foal will be ready, should be, and then just to see if we can advance the pregnancies somewhat. So bow with me. Let's see. Oh, Lupine Meadow. All right. All right. We'll think about it. We'll think about going to the Lupine Meadow. Looking for some straw. Looking for forageables. A double straw plus. This is where your town board is when you buy it on your farm. And I know Eloise is going to be making, I mean, this has only been in access since earlier this year. It hasn't been a complete year yet. So um, she's really, really, oh, they're both bigger. Oh, well, he's bigger. Okay. Um, so she's really going to be, um, she's trying her hardest to make all sorts of changes. Um, I think she did say she's working on like a sprint dot or a run option for these um, characters just to make it a little faster. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and clean the stalls now and I will see you when we're done. Bye now. And we're back. All right, so I think this little girl needs some attention. Her jump is four. So we're going to take her. What did we decide on her? Yeah, we decided that. Okay. We're going to take her to Crystal Lake to jump. But before we do that, we're going to go look at, excuse me, we're going to go look at the Lupine Meadow wild horses and see if there's anything we want to take home. Maybe a pretty pattern, a pretty color. We'll see. There may be not. There, there may be nothing. There may be not. There may be not anything there. There may be nothing that we're interested in or I'm interested in. Um, so I will see you in a few minutes when we get there. Okay, so we're approaching them now. So let's see what we've got. Hold way far way far back. Ooh, I cannot talk today. I've pulled back pretty far. Also, we've got a couple of black. There's a liver chestnut over here. Or that way. That looks like a liver chestnut to buy now. Um, we've got a liver chestnut flash on the right. And then on the left, this one here is probably a light chestnut flash. So they look, both of these patterns are almost identical. These two right here. We can go for this one because this one looks different too. And then that black one with the bald face. Oh yeah, I cannot gallop. <laughs> I was going to waste all my energy and then we'd never get anywhere. I want him to go around the fences because they'll get stuck on the jumps. And we don't want that because that just glitches everything out. So again, you have your guide arrow just like you do on the races. You can see it in front. Um, so we're heading directly for that corral. And all these sheep just blend in with the winner. No, 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 no being, no being sneaky. Nope, no trying to dart out, little one. Chances are it's a stallion because that's what it usually is. A stallion. All the pretty ones are usually stallions. So we're only going to go after this one right now just because I um, really don't need another stallion. Easy. Easy. Wild Flame. Oh my god. Definitely sounds like a stallion name to me, but in this game you never know. Yeah, but it's a stallion. <laughs> What did I say? 
beginner everything. So if we took him home now and we didn't do anything with him, he would probably sell for maybe two, maybe three. He's a black splash. Okay. So he's, so the Lupine Meadow has all the splashes and such, splash colors. Those other two were probably a liver splash and a light chestnut or dun splash. So we're going to let him go. He's going to go back with the herd. The whole herd's going to disappear because we're out of here. Look how cute she looks. She looks super cute in an English tag. Now let me get, I want to get a, a close up. Ready for your close up. Oh, as she bent her head. And, okay, let's put that back on that. And we're going to head back to the entrance. And then we're going to go to Crystal Lake and do some jumping. Because she needs her, her jumping skill up way big. Just a little bit more, like 50. So I'll see you when we get to the jumping arena. <laughs> okay, and we're back at the jumping thing. So I'm going to keep her at a trot just because it saves energy. So instead of like galloping, expends it really fast, trot. Super slow, still gets the job done. And I can't remember if I gave her a treat or not. I don't think I have, so we may be able to get two... Two rounds, two and a half rounds out of this? I'm not sure. <laughs> what I get for trying to want to for trying to take a picture while we're jumping doesn't work. Not talented like that. <laughs> multitasking not my suit okay so she's running low on energy we'll see what we get go back around the center one and we'll give her a treat what a treat, pretty girl. It's an invisible pair. You never see the pair. I've been noticing that. But, you know, hey. Okay, let's go back to trot. And then we should be able to get one more complete circle around. And actually, let me stop. What is she at that point? Her jump is 24. Okay, so that's pretty good. She's almost at the intermediate. I think the intermediate starts at, at uh, 25. So that's pretty darn good. If I can get them up to everybody up to 30, even better. As far as, you know, stats go for beginner. Um, well, it wouldn't be beginner, it'd be intermediate. All right, let's see where we're at now. Where it jumps at, still at 26. We're doing jump, right? I know that I heard some bells go off. What's going on? Maybe it was 24. As long as they're glowy, illuminated, however you wish to say it, we should still be getting a stat, I think. I'm not getting stats. What's going on? Oh no, it's 27. Why am I not? Why is it taking so long? My goodness. I didn't train her on anything else today. Okay, that's bizarre. Usually, every time you go through, you get a point. I'm not getting any dings. I'm getting dings, but not any points. Okay, um, 29. Okay, so we're getting them. It's just not as consistent as I thought it was. Go through these again and see if we can get... 30. 30. Yay! Good job. Okay. We're going to teleport back. And this one, I love teleporting back because you literally fall out of the sky. It's so cool. 
Meow. <laughs> I freaking love it. It's so funny. Your leader's like, boom, dropped in. Okay, we're gonna not even do that. We're just gonna go here, go here. So much interest, so much more, so much faster, not interesting, faster. All right, so. She'll give birth in four days. So let's, I hate to do it, but let's give, let's sleep for four days. Horses will be starving and the stalls will be nasty, but let's sleep for four days and see what she has. And then we'll end it there. I'll be our little experimento. <laughs> Who thought that one wasn't going to come back? Four. Okay, so we slept four days. The barn's going to be disgusting. I don't think the two babies that we had are going to be grown up, but I could be wrong. Oh, I think I am wrong. Oops. The horses are going to be starving and in poor condition. So this one grew up. This is our sale baby. Sorry, kid. Oh, you don't have a pitchfork, so I don't have to do that. Use the hard brush because the hard brush will get dirt out faster. Even though she does have a fair amount of trust. Eating apples and treats to babies will also give them more trust. Okay, so that's good. Alright, so now let's see what we've got over here. Oh my gosh, it looks, looks like the other one. Oh, that's because it is the other one. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought we had a duplicate. I went in the wrong stall. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. What are you? Okay, so we got a chestnut done. Okay, so out of an apricot done and a golden cremello, we got a chestnut done. With one really long leg stocking and a little sniff on its on his nose. Oops. Uh, he's a dusty little fella. It's been four days. All right. So that is where we're going to leave it. So thank you so much for coming along. Let me give him a treat. Thank you so much for coming along. And I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye now.